the state government commences road rehabilitation ahead of Kaniwa Calabar. Niwa tax stakeholders on safety calls for adherence to marine rules. Plus, Governor Basil II calls on opposition to end election litigation after appeal court victory. Details of these and more shortly. Good evening and welcome to NTA News Highlights. I am Erika Evie. Now the news in details. Governor Basato says his victory at the Court of Appeal, Lagos Division, is expected to bring to a close the election litigation over the governorship seat of Cross River State. The governor made the remarks in reaction to the appeal court verdict in Lagos State. The report is here presented. The governor, while applauding the industry and rigor of the appeal court ruling, said he was confident of the judicial outcome, knowing that the electorate had overwhelmingly voted for him during the March 18th governorship election. According to Governor Ochu, the affirmation of the court victory has given him an added impetus to serve the state and move forward with his People First agenda while urging the opposition to accept the verdict of the court in good faith and join hands with his administration in moving the state forward. On Wednesday, the Court of Appeal sitting in Lagos affirmed the decision of the Election Petition Tribunal of September 26, upholding the election of Governor Basio II and his deputy, Right Honorable Peter Ode, as duly elected. Senator Tu was declared winner of the polls by INEC, having pulled a total of 258,619 votes, winning in 15 out of the 18 local government areas of the state to defeat its closest rival. Senator Sandiano of the People's Democratic Party. The Cross River State Governor Senator Basil II is marching words with actions as he sets in motion the promise to ensure zero potholes on road within the state's capital before Carnival Calabar 2023. Justin Item, who monitored the ongoing road rehabilitation work in Calabar Metropolis, completed the reports. Most roads in Calabar Metropolis, due to not being attended to, have been in deplorable condition in recent past, with large potholes becoming permanent features, inconveniencing motorists and other road users, especially in the rainy season. Keeping with the targets of urban renewal and infrastructure developments, the Cross River State Government has commenced patching of potholes on affected portions of these roads to ensure smooth vehicular movements. This pothole that you've seen here for the past eight years of the past government, um, the attention was not given to Calabar. And so this government has come in place to give a proper attention to all the infrastructure in the state. We are targeting first December because Canada will begin from 31st of November and the days are number but that target doesn't mean that when we don't meet up we will not continue to um, uh, feel where it's left uh, the entire metropolis we promise cross that there will be no more power this road at Ntaike Street, which was in a poor state, is one of many that is receiving government's attention and when completed will be a solution to the consistent gridlock often witnessed at Efiete Junction most evenings. This um, extension of uh, what we started at uh, Yom Edem at uh, Calabar South, the White Tower House Houses, is still in addition to the ongoing uh, two-kilometer um, stone um, uh, rigid pavement. What we're, what we're basically doing here is that we're introducing what we call uh, steel uh, as members, where we use um, Y8, uh, you know, or people call BROC, you understand, we lay it after the earth work before introducing our, our concrete. It's more durable and more better than uh, the crota, popularly known as uh, pleasant pavement. Residents are elated at the development, commending Governor Basio II's efforts to bring soccer and hope to the people. I've been here for this street more than over 20 years now, especially when rain falls. Because... 
when rain fall, the, all this shop, whatever they enter, even when you come back from market, you park for road and carry something and, uh, and come inside. But since our prince, sweet prince, is working, and God will bless him for me. I'm having issues with um, customers coming to my barber shop because of bar roads. Those that were driving could not drive through. And when rain is actually falling, so we have overflows of, of um, erosions. So coming to see this work, we're actually thinking that um, um, it will be an abandoned project, like the camouflage where you just do it and just, but we have seen that they have been working day and night and we thank God for their, the workers. The provision of good roads is fundamental to economic prosperity and the Cross River State Government says it will stop at nothing to improve this infrastructure and enhance the well-being of the citizenry. In Calabar, Justina Etem. NTA News. The Cross River State Government is cautioning traffic offenders and has banned incessant display of masculines in Calabar Metropolis. The report is here presented. In a press statement signed by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Emmanuel Ogbeche, the Cross River State Government observed with dismay the incessant display of masquerades in Calabar Metropolis and frowns at it seriously. To this end, all forms of masquerade display, except on special occasions or as authorized by relevant government agencies or traditional institutions, is hereby banned. In the same vein, the government wishes to inform all road users to adhere strictly to traffic rules and regulations and desist from driving against the traffic. Violators are hereby warned to take this caution seriously, as anyone caught disobeying this directive will be made to face the full rots of the law. Towards improving safety in the waterways, the National Inland Waterways Authority has forged a strategic partnership with stakeholders while calling for strict adherence to marine safety rules, thereby reducing boat mishap in the nation's maritime domain. This was at a one-day Maritime Stakeholders Forum and Safety Awareness Program held in Calabar. Good item. Complete the reports. Nigeria depends largely on water transportation for economic activities, and safety in the maritime domain is highly needed to forestall any form of mishap. As part of the National Inland Waterways Authority's routine exercise, sensitization program for boat operators and maritime stakeholders was held in Calabar. This is to interact with boat operators, regulators, security agencies and other organizations involved in the activities of the inland waterways in Cross River State, including Ebony State, which is under the control of Niwa Calabar Area Office. Area manager Niwa Calabar Area Office cautioned against night selling and called for adherence to all safety rules, including wearing of life jackets. All other security agencies which we have partnered and synergized with, they will go to work immediately to make sure that there is regular patrol on the waterways to make sure that everybody is whipped to compliance. And anybody that doesn't comply, either we confiscate their boat or we, we decline your operational license. When securities tend to put their hands together to ensure that safety is carried out, we know that the safety will be certainly achieved. And that's what we are trying to ensure that all boat operators should be licensed, they should be trained. We don't want to have accidents, because if you have accidents in the waterway, it tarnishes the brand. And, you know, people begin to think it's not safe to use the waterways, you know. So it's, it's, it's a very important thing, and it's something I hope that we can continue to do to build confidence in the industry and grow the economy of the country. The Cross River State Government and other participants commended NIWA for its regulatory functions and urged sea operators to comply with the laid down rules. Please, there's need for greater cooperation. The state government is very, very interested in co-regulating the waterways and um, pulling in a lot of resources to make sure that security is provided in the waterways. The forum has also given us an in-depth knowledge of what is expected of us in terms of uh, abiding by the rules and regulations and of course for, for us all to be security conscious. Stakeholders highlighted challenges such as insecurity on the waterways and called for adequate action. We have more than 100 creeks around. The, the, the gunboat should be shared to all the creeks if we must fight this uh, insecurity. 
we equally appreciate the governor of Cross River State for what he did in Akpaboyo and in other places. Challenges we are having is a security problem in the sea. If this can be checkmate, yeah, we'll have a better crossover waterfront. It is expected that all boat drivers are to register for training and acquire driver's license. As enforcement of these regulations, according to NIWA, will commence on 1st January 2024. In Calabar, Udwak Etam, NTA News. And with that report, we have come to the end of our news highlight tonight. Thanks for watching. Remain safe. Bye-bye.